Hi, my name is Bob Davis 321. Coming with you to you once again with some more of my uh, electronic craziness. What we have here is a uh, Arduino running a LED sign, original sign, something like this silent radio. Uh, it's a on the back it said Cybernetic Data Products ADT502. Um, give you a little bit of history though on my uh, experience with LED signs. I still have it sitting here. This was my first LED sign published, I don't know, back around 2000 or so in Nuts and Bolts magazine. This baby plugged in the printer port and doesn't even work under Windows XP, unfortunately. And it didn't scroll, as you see, there's fixed spacing. But meanwhile, back at the Arduino sign, uh, the silent radio sign uses shift registers to uh, shift data down through and, I, and uh, what else has eight or seven row drivers uh, I use the same transistors I use TIP 120 so though I'm working to try to make it a little bit brighter it's not as bright as I would like it to be um, so basically the Arduino the uh, seven TIP 120 transistors, that's all you need. Oh, and I'm using a 5 volt, 2.5 amp AC adapter. It's, the AC adapter is only about 2 inches square, and yet it can deliver 5 volts of 2.5 amps to run it. Uh, coming up perhaps in the future, I have a Dynasty sign. There's a guts to it. Uh, the trick with converting this Dynasty sign to work will be the fact that it doesn't have shift registers. It uses parallel to uh, control everything. So that's on my docket for future works. Um, I actually have a second one of these silent radio signs. I know I'm debating whether I should convert it to Arduino and then sell it, or if I should just sell it and say, hey, check out my blog, bobdavis321.blogspot.com, and find out how to make it into a sign. Oh, another problem with a silent radio sign, you can't quite, there we go, I'll move out of the way so you can see it. The uh, rightmost three uh, characters are green. <laughs> That's because in the original design, they had a counter that uh, yeah, it was uh, now serving customer number, and that counter would show, uh, I think, up to a three-digit number of uh, the person being served. And then there was a little circuit. In fact, I actually have a working silent radio sign, like I said, that's still around here someplace. And uh, it has that counter still enabled. In fact, I'll see if I can plug it in here for you. This is a original unmodified one. And of course, it's lost its uh, memory, so it just says operational. But I was curious as to how bright it should be. It's funny, I'm looking on the screen, I'm like, they've written backwards. Hey! <laughs> trouble looking at the computer or the camera screen. But as you see, they have a two-digit counter over on the right, and uh, it's a normally closed contact, so you can just increment that counter pretty easily to whatever you want it to be. Okay, prove me wrong. There we go. Actually, I think I just made it count backwards to 99. Now serving number 99. Anyways, that's how bright it should be compared to Running off that 5 volt 2.5 amp AC adapter, it's only this bright, and the problem lies in the driver voltage. The, the 7 TIP120 driver transistors normally have 9 volts on them. When you have the Arduino drive those transistors directly, the transistor only outputs about 4 volts to the LEDs. The drop from 9 volts down to 4 volts is absorbed by the transistor as 4 volts at uh, about 1 amp each, or about 4 watts times 7 transistors, 28 watts. I think it's pretty toasty. So I'm working on a different driver circuit that might resolve that. Uh, two options. One would be to use a PNP driver transistor and uh, a ULN 2003. ULN 2003 would invert it, the PNP would then invert it again, and the 2003 would give an open collector drive into that power transistor. So 
We'll see what we can come up with, but I wanted to keep it really, really simple so that anybody could look at it and say, hey, I can do this. And I have pictures on my blog, like I said, it's an Arduino, seven driver transistors, and the sign, and you're up and running.